Hey YouTube, what's up? My name is Jonathan. Um, so the other day I went to take my 2010 Summit 800 for a little rip and uh, found out the handlebar had broken. So anyway, I thought, well, I might as well change my heated grips. The one side wasn't working. So um, that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna show you how I, or attempt to install these uh, heated grips. So there's the old one. I was, uh, it just uh, broke suddenly. I guess maybe from my accident last year, I, I uh, flipped the sled over and uh, broke my pelvis. That was brutal. Still have some uh, problems from that. Like uh, my knee, busted up my knee pretty good. It's still a bit of an issue, but hey, who needs knees anyway for sledding? Uh, you all right? But yeah, so this here, Broken, got a new one, and here's my heated grips. I guess they gotta be glued on there. There's a little cork that goes on there ahead of time. So uh, yeah, let's attempt this. All right, so here goes. Um, so I got these, I'm gonna use these as an example so that I make sure I put them on the right way. I'm sure there is uh, one side works better for the other side just because the way these come off this here or maybe not anyway i guess we'll find that out so first of all i think you're gonna have to start off with this guy here it looks like to me where it comes where it rounds out like that i think you want to kind of start it off like that so i'm gonna try that get rid of this old thing okay there's a little backer here I really hope I don't screw this up. No, it's, I think it's pretty easy. Whoa, tearing already. All right. That's sticky. Maybe I'll see. I, I don't I want to be about an eighth and eighth of an inch away from the end. There we go. Get that hole. Stick it on there, right in the center, so that you can just wrap everything around. After you can see, it's got little slits here, so that it can kind of wrap around that handle. I'll just uh, maybe I'll do this one first. Wrap it around. Wrap that one around. That it was meant to be. Okay. Uh, wrap this guy all the way around. Those guys. It's actually pretty easy. And it sticks really good. There we go. Sick. Well, so far so good. Seems all right. Nice. Okay. The other side. That's it, look at that. Wah! Woo! Yeah, feels good. Okay, so this part, this is what I'm actually nervous about. I, I don't even know why, it's just, it just looks like I could screw it up. You know what I'm saying? Just looks like it could be screwed up very easily. But probably not. Okay, so I'm thinking, okay, looks like, hmm. I don't know if it matters which I don't think it I think it's the same either way, so once again it's really just the same process over again with these heated grips here. 
Uh, just take this backer off. Got nice and sticky. I sure don't want to rip anything on this. Hmm. There we go. Okay, here goes. Uh, let's see. Let me just look at this guy, for example. Basically, it looks like they went right to the edge of the cork. I'm going to do the same thing. Get that nice there. Okay. Right down the middle. Get the middle on there. Ah, that is so sticky. Beauty. Once again, just get this, wrap it all the way around, press it on firmly. It's actually working out pretty good. Quite easy to do. I mean, when I first looked at it, I was like, holy cow, I don't want to do that. But just like anything, you get going on it and there's, it's pretty easy. Sexy. Hey, that is all right. Let's just press it all on there firmly. Firmly. Okay. So that's pretty good. I mean, this some of this kind of sticks out a little bit, but probably doesn't matter. I noticed, I noticed on these ones here, they wrap tape around the edges, like around the outside. You know, on, on both outsides, maybe just so it doesn't catch when they put the the grips on. Okay, I would say that side's done. Sick. That's it. It's actually very easy to do. So I would put grips on, but I didn't think I would need any when I was in the store there. Uh, so I didn't pick them up, and it um, turns out though that uh, these, I kind of damaged them getting them off. Uh, the one I had to cut off, this one here is just all warped. I had to use the heat gun to get them off. So there it is. I'm going to start putting all this stuff back together. And it looks like these had open. And uh, put these connectors in there. Obviously, just uh, make sure you copy the seam. The seam is what they have, and then it should be good. All right, so now. I need to put some of this stuff back on there. I can only do this side because this side here is still on the snowmobile. So there is some little clips there. You just press. And it should release it. But still not having much luck. Oh. I don't know. This is super dumb. This is not my cup of tea. Truly. That feels like something happening. Just, I mean, 
Yes! Yes! Whatever I did worked. I don't exactly know, but there was something I was pressing on. There, let's see if we can figure it out now. Ha! Ha ha ha! Ha! Okay. Got that. Now I got... Now I got that. Now I gotta get this last one out. But I think all you gotta do is you gotta get some pressure on there and then push outwards because what it has, it's got a little... It's like a little plastic tab that is pressing up against... up against these little metal bumps that come out here and it just hooks on for dear life so that's all you got to do now let's get the third one oh yeah oh wow i gotta say that was ridiculous but it's done and i don't think i've done too bad of damage. I think it'll pop back in there and it'll be all right. Jiggle, jiggle. Wiggle, wiggle. Pretty sure that's how that goes. Okay, so we got that through. All right. So I'm just going to tape this end up a little bit, just so that I can shove it through the tubing. I tried several times and it just keeps getting bunched up in there. So this should do the trick. That way there's nothing it can catch on. Let's go straight shot through, hopefully. Do it. That well, is pretty bunched up now. There it is. There it is. Ah, yes. Finally. Okay. So these little bumps go to the outside to catch that. Yeah. Just shove it in. You can hear it click. You hear that? Click. Click, click, boom. Okay, and then I know purple was next. So it looks like I didn't do any damage. It all clicked in there just fine. Uh-huh. That one too. And then I want to make sure I get this right so I don't end up having to do this all over again because that was a pain in the butt for me. And click. There we go. Oh, that feels good. There it is. And then I just got to do the same thing to the other side, but that's all outside, so um, we'll do that later. Hey, thanks for watching. Um, hope you find some. I hope you get uh, find this useful, and um, you know, don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.